Hello, my name is Denny. This is my plant-based journey and I'm having a good day. How about you? Oh, I bet some of you are up to no good and causing trouble. I bet you are. You're saying, man, I wish it was Friday. That way I'm off on Saturday and Sunday. Well, you know, a lot of people aren't off on the weekend. A lot of us work and uh, every day is a great day. It doesn't matter if it's the weekend or not, but I know the feeling. I wish it was Friday sometimes too. But uh, tomorrow is Friday and our company is having a cookout uh, to uh, celebrate some of our successes. And in so doing, they're going to serve hamburgers and hot dogs. And I thought, what am I going to eat? And uh, I know that I'm going to take some rice and beans and corn that I have mixed together and added some Rotel tomatoes and some seasonings like cumin and garlic and Oh, I know it's good. I had some today, but I got me thinking and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try some things. I, I see some guys on YouTube eating these types of things on a regular basis. So I thought I'd pick up some of the meatless burgers. I'm just curious what your opinion is about these. I picked up one called the ultimate beefless burger. It is from Gardein and uh, it says it's 67 percent less fat uh, each patty has 120 calories five grams of fat and eight grams of carbohydrates it does have a lot of uh, sodium 320 milligrams per patty but i see people eating this all the time and i wondered if they taste good or not and if they're something that uh, might be for a special occasion we're having the party coming up tomorrow I'm having a birthday coming up pretty soon. Would this be something I would serve? So I think I'm gonna cook one of these and see what it tastes like. Is it something that you would grind up and, and put in pasta sauce? Is it something that you would make taco meat out of? Is it good? Do you like it? What are your thoughts? And then one that's gained a lot of popularity today is the Beyond Meat Burger. So I picked up some of these whenever I was at Whole Foods and the Beyond Meat Burger is uh, a plant-based burger patty. If you've seen anything online, you know that it's supposed to look and act more like a real meat patty. Um, but when you look at the ingredients and you look at the things that are in it, uh, you know there's a lot of things that are not whole food plant-based obviously. But what do you think? Have you tried these? Do you think they're good? I know some of the guys that have reviewed this online just love it. So are these good? Would this be something that is uh, for a special occasion? They're also having hot dogs tomorrow. So I picked up some field roast uh, hot dogs. Well, they're not really hot dogs. They're uh, smoked apple sage sausages. And it says it's made from grains. And uh, this has seven grams of fat and 220 calories uh, so it is uh, a little bit higher in fat than uh, what your typical diet would be but would this be something that you would eat on a special occasion now oh it's been a while ago i tried a field roast hot dog and i will tell you that i didn't really care for it uh, it wasn't something that jumped out at me in fact i've had the carrot hot dogs. Um, Ann Esselstyn has one in her book. Uh, Plant uh, Pure Nation has one. And actually, I like those. Those taste really good. And it's just marinated carrots. Uh, so what about the field roast? Would you try this? And, and really, what I'm trying to get to is not would you try it? Because I know most of you are going to eat a whole food plant-based diet. But if you cooked one of these, and you served it to your friends and your family and your co-workers, would they eat it? Would they enjoy it? Would they ask questions about it? I know there's one of my co-workers that tried eating a plant-based diet for five days and he said he was just starving all the time. I told him you need to add starch to your diet. He was just eating green vegetables and fruit. You need to have uh, some of the beans and rice and carrots and squash some of the other things that go with it potatoes 
Uh, I know why he was starving. He was hungry and he needed uh, something like that starch. But do you think your friends and family would like these? Would it fool them? I don't think it would fool them. I don't know. This Beyond Meat is uh, getting rave reviews, so we'll see. I think I'm going to cook one of each and I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm going to see if one of my friends might like to try some of these products and we'll see what they think. Now, of course, it's not something you're going to eat every day. And so don't even pretend like this is something you want to eat every day. I know there's guys on YouTube that do that. But trying to have a healthy heart, uh, get rid of diabetes, lose weight, whatever your plan is, you're going to want to avoid the fat in this processed foods. So what do you think? Have you tried them? Do you like them? Would your family eat them? I'm interested in your opinion. It's Thursday, but it's almost Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. Make sure you like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Most of all, answer the question. What do you think about these products? Do you like them? Would your family eat them? My name is Denny. This is my plant-based journey. All right, go ahead, start the weekend. Have a great one.